Clive. Is something the matter, Karen? You seem perturbed. Do I know? How clever of you to notice. But yes, someone's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that color before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They're calling them dusk crystals, on account of color. I see. And they could be used to cast magics. That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is, they don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. I hope. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. Right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, 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 oh. Please tell us you bought another London. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? for a single spark. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. <laughs> that sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those who run? Wait for us, Chief! I've never felt a tremor this far inland before. Me neither. But then, I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. 
Come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This color... They couldn't be from... Origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky, and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. Oh, yeah. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once-over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. What are you still doing here? What? Tara then. Thank you, Karen. You could do best of luck. You look like you could do with a drink. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. <laughs> Don't be a stranger, Sid. My boy, do you know? Twas not your mother, but above all, and so you. Huh. Thank you, Uncle. As for doubt, we'll be fine, Clive.
Joshua. We need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye. That is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these Dusk Crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Kar's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power, and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the Colloquy of the Sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls forged great and terrible weapons called the iconoclasts from which icons derive their name and turned them against each other in the magitech war a pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high and when at last they ventured to do so the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil the first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitech mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen. Where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with him, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then, brother? I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together.
Samuel, slow down! No bloody likely! What indeed? Let's ask. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? <sighs> Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all away from the gates, but swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals? Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Way he saw it, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favored shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why, you're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I'd put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you want to keep your sword, Andy. It's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. Fly, Ambrosia. This won't be easy. Still some distance ahead, I'd wager. They were making a good pace. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me. But did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road. Screaming at them, they were. Your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way.
towards the old hilt docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And that we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Come on. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. Bandits haven't found them either. There's still time. No need to ride from here. You lot took a wrong turn. Bad luck. <laughs> To brawl with brigands, brother. You're right. Let's focus on finding the traitors. I don't think I can go on. Chief, maybe that. I'll reach this. Should be far enough. Uh, Chief? They've found us. Oh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand he's been selling some crystal. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here! I can smell the one who shat himself. Um, if you've got a plan, Chief. Tell us you've got a plan. Of course I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, 
We were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <sighs> Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <sighs> Do let us know if you need any more help. <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No, but they'll wish they had. I'll carve you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking dog! Kind of you to think of him. Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. Ready, girl? There was something odd about those three. They seem less like merchants and more like... Charlatans? One might argue that a merchant is naught but a mama without his motley. Then why am I not amused? Judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits? <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. Rest with they. What if they hope to pass on lightest? Better stick to the swamps. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
lads. I think we finally lost them. Then think again. Fuck. Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts would all match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight to oh, oh, oh. 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 Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's impossible. Hey, yeah, Chief. Do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sod! And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you, an Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Oh. Wait, don't you dare! I don't think Martha would appreciate that thing on her doorstep. Probably not. Let them run, then. I have an idea where they'll be heading anyway. This shouldn't take too long. Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? 
and let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Malik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? <sighs> when they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labelled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there. Like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. To think there could have been a mother crystal here in Rosaria all this time. The wars that could have been avoided. We still don't know what's in there, Clive. But, whatever it is, there is a good reason it has gone unnoticed for so long. The tower sits atop a jagged ridge. Few have ever had occasion to pick their way through the rocks, even before the Blight swallowed them. <laughs> 